Hi, we are Team Skill Streamers, consisting of David B, Richard, Farron, David C, Mark, and Eloise. We picked challenge number one. To summarise, we were faced with utilising staff based on their skills to align them to projects best suited for their skill set. There were a few pain points for us to consider, including wanting a full scale metrics for all employees that would be as accurate and current as possible, which we used to create our solution. We began brainstorming ideas for dashboards uh, that would be useful for the personas that we were provided with um, in this challenge and began to map out a process of which some elements we aimed to be able to automate. We used ChatGPT in developing our solution for multiple functions. We first used it to extract the skills from the CV. We then used it to create a synonym mapping table to look for similar skills and group them together to avoid the skill matrix being populated with hundreds and hundreds of skills that are fundamentally the same. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see that's in the mapping table that was used, which is an Excel output with, that was generated by ChatGPT. We also used ChatGPT to create some Python code to format the skills for the proper case in order to avoid multiple skills being created just on different casing being used. In terms of generating the prompts to extract the skill information, we did try a number of prompts to get the best possible output. And that best possible output can be seen in the table on the bottom of the slide. We did encounter some issues such as, for example, the proficiency extract was not very accurate. You can see that for one um, aspect, for one skill, the level of proficiency was deemed high, even though the context of use was in an internship and also for a, a small duration. We also found there were duplicate entries uh, extracted from the CV using ChatGPT. One of the main goals of our solution was to be able to extract skills from CVs and import them into Power BI in one single automated step. This was achieved using a Python script that we wrote, which broadly does these four things. Firstly, it extracts the skills from the CV. For our prototype, this was done using OpenAI's API, but could easily be swapped out for another NLP model. An important point here is there's no manually predefined list of skills. Uh, so any new skills that appear on new CVs that get added will automatically be added into Power BI. Uh, secondly, it deduplicates and groups similar skills. This was done by creating word embeddings for each of the skills. So we compile a list of all skills that appear across all CVs, generate a word embedding for each of them. Then for each pair of skills, we calculate the cosine similarity. And if after a given threshold, we consider those skills to be the same. Thirdly, we categorize the skills. After initially analyzing the data, we, we felt that being able to add a manual taxonomy on top of the open-ended skills uh, provided a good, a good balance. And within Power BI, we can either look at these categories or we can drill down into the specific skills as they appeared on the CV. And then finally, and importantly, all of this data is automatically synced with Power BI. The script generates a CSV file that is then uploaded to a server that is pulled down from Power BI and is used as a data source. In a production environment, we would have some sort of UI for running the script, but for now, it's simply a script that you click on. It scans a given folder, which can be configured, finds all the CVs and begins processing them. When we need to add a new CV, we simply drag the CV into the folder and run the script again. And I'll pick up the new CV and we'll add it to the data for Power BI. So data cleansing. Firstly, our personal information has been removed to comply with data laws. We identified a number of data cleansing challenges, such as duplication and variations on our initial sample tests and verification. To solve these issues, we use a Python script to identify skills within a text and then to cleanse the results by standardizing text and creating a skill, a skill synonym dictionary. The Python script produces a CSV file output containing the cleansed skill data, which can be stored in a secure location, updated automatically once CVs are added, removed, or revised. So after extracting the data from the CVs and populating it into Power BI, we then tried to optimize the allocation of people to projects based on the skill demands of those projects and the skills of those people. We did this by creating a Python code and using a algorithm, the Hungarian matching algorithm, to create the best possible match. Uh, we got the code to work, but only on dummy data. Um, but when we added the real data in, uh, we didn't really have time to update the Python coding and we didn't get an output. However, with more time, we could have created a better algorithm that could consider multiple different facets like project priority, the availability resource, etc. The Power BI dashboard landing page gives us the visibility with the skills matrix of all the employees we have and has been categorized into subcategories, which then can be expanded on further to see which skills each staff member actually poses. So I'll give you an example. So this gives us a skill matrix of all the employees we have by staff ID. And as you can see, it kind of gives you an indication of what skills they have in the subcategories. For example, this individual has a skill in analysis and research. And if you click on the plus icon, it kind of gives you a breakdown of which skill it is, which is estimated. The dashboard also has filtering, so you can actually filter for a film, but project manager wants a community, someone with communication skills and collaboration. You actually have to select it, and it gives you all the individuals who have that skill. Created second page. It allows us to, in case it gives us an answer overview of the staff allocations to projects. This is based on the projects having certain skill requirements and match them to the best suited staff uh, based on their specific skills, which they have. 
Um, this ensures that leaders are assigned the best staff for the projects and making the best use of the skills they have as well. So an example would be on Project Alpha, we have a list of defined skills, which are communication, collaboration, manufacturing, engineering, data management, and education and training. Um, we would have liked to include further visuals within this report, having visuals which indicate which certain projects have skill gaps, for example, from their requirements. This could be given a better indication whether we need to upskill our staff in certain areas because we don't actually have the skills available or potentially if we need to recruit more skilled individuals, which can then be allocated to um, required projects. So this first question of how we process skills that are the same or indeed look the same, but mean something different. As mentioned earlier, one of the steps of our Python script was deduplicating the skills. And because this was done with the word embeddings rather than the words themselves, that means we're comparing the words on semantics rather than just the actual word itself, which means the skills that have the same meaning will be considered the same and we treat them the same in our data. With regards to question two, we initially hoped that we would be able to create a weighting value for proficiency based on extracting data, including qualifications, experience, length of service achievements, but we encountered issues with ChatGPT interpreting the information provided within the CVs incorrectly and providing inaccurate mapping. With further development, we would aim to create this weighting matrix um, to then assign the required skills and proficiency to match the project requirements. Standardising the input with a form or app would greatly improve the quality of the data. And for question three, with what steps would we take to get this deployed and operational? Um, firstly, some sort of UI for the script. Currently, it's just a, a script that we click and run. Some sort of UI for that, some sort of UI to make it configurable. And in terms of adding new skills, that currently already works. Simply, we drag the CV into the folder that's being processed, and any new skills in that CV will be picked up. As for next steps, we have provided a list of four ideas we would tackle. These include enhancing optimization and developing in-house skill identifier form, the main focus being to make the process more streamlined and efficient. 